Hi Techie guys, I am Nand Kishore Swami and in this particular tutorial we would be learning about uh, using array uh, type of variables and reading data from CSV file, storing that data into a uh, array data type variable and then retrieving the information from array data type variable. So let's get started. Go ahead and hit to the new button and click on the task editor so you would be prompted with the task editor window under the task editor window go to the variable manager and hit add so now let's first create a array data type variable so select array give a meaningful name so let's have my array and then we need to define how many rows it should have so we can let's have any n number of uh, variable or rows and similarly n number of columns so let's have two columns for now and click on save so now to read the data from a csv we have a csv file here and that csv file contains two columns column 1 with the name and column 2 or column B with the age of that person so our objective is to read all these names from the CSV file and store into the array data type variable and then retrieve that information back and show into a message box so let's get started with the reading the information first so go ahead and choose read from csv file from the activity type so just drag and drop it would be prompted with a window so choose csv since our file is csv type otherwise we're gonna select the text if it is text type file click on the browse and select our csv file now since our csv files first row has the headers so we're gonna have this contain header checkbox check so it won't retrieve the information from header and we can have the session name as a default or we can have it whatever we want and if we want to have the values trim then we can choose this and hit save so now it's reading all the information from CSV one by one and there is a loop so inside this loop we will have our variable to store that information so since it's a variable we need to look for variable operation and just drag and drop inside this loop and pick our variable from the drop down which is my variable and what value it should contain so the value is coming from csv file and there is a system uh, variable called file data column which contains all the uh, columns of uh, csv file so the first we will have first columns value so i'm going to enter one and say okay and uh, here we need to define what row it this particular value should go so the, in the first column from the csv we have name so we want the name to be stored into the first column that is fixed but the row number will keep incremental since it is incremental so we're going to use another system variable called counter so use counter and the column is fixed which is one and click on save similarly we just copy and paste the same since we also need to store the value from column 2 which is age so let's change it to 2 file data column 2 and here also the column value to 2 so this is how we will retrieve all the information from CSV and store into our array now how to retrieve that arrays value and display into a message box so now look for the loop and we're gonna loop 
through the arrays all item or all the rows and and it once the uh, values are empty so from the loop while select the variable click on add it and choose the variable name which is my array and we will just check if the first column contains null value so the first column and the row number row number would comes from a counter and the column value is fixed which is one so we will just compare only the name and the comparison operator is not equal to so it will loop until the value from first column is not equal to null so we're going to leave it as a null click on save say yes save so now we have a condition to loop it until the value of this variable or uh, from the column one comes as null and now have a message box to display this information so look for the message box and just drag it drop first we will display the name so let's type name equals then f2 and choose your array since the row is incremental which is not fixed so we're going to use another system variable which is counter and column is fixed which is first for the name say ok similarly just copy and paste it in, a, in another sorry in another row and have it the value of age and counter would remain same since it's the same row but the column is different which is second so click on save and you can delete this comment line or you can have no problem so go ahead and save it and just hit run button so now we can see the information from csv so line number one is reading from the csv file the line number two and four looping until we have all the values from the csv file and line number three and four is storing three is storing the value from column one four is storing from values from the column two and then line number six and nine having a loop through the r arrays until the value from the column one comes as empty so this is the information from column one or the first uh, row sorry for the first row and this is for the second row third row fourth row fifth and that's it so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching see you in next tutorial